Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how we install our DC to DC charger, Orion. I've got a box here. We've got a Orion DC to DC charger, non-isolated charger, but we have the 12 volts to 24 volts, 15 amps. Yeah, so we've got this one and we don't just have one we have one two three so we got three orion chargers um well we got three because we got a tesla battery and that's 230 amp hour of lithium and it draws a lot of power but if we only have one 15 amp charging, 115 amp, it would take forever to charge our battery. So we decided to not drive as much this time as we explore UK. So we decided to go for three, which would give us 45 amp power. And the problem now is because these run very hot and the heat sink in them is huge. So I have to figure out the way of mounting it in a camper and let it cool down and not overheat. So that's the video plan. I'll just show you very quickly what it looks like. As you see now, we got one, two, three. And I'll be mounting them over here. Over there. In the van. So I've got this one out just to show you what it will look like. So I've got this one now to show you what it will look like and if you look underneath our bed storage we've got about 30 mil depth in there and then plywood so my plan is to actually mount this there and this is the, uh, like the foam for our bed this is how high it will be my plan is to mount this here just right there not quite to the top but just there to be below our bed but also there and yeah so i'll just have to figure out a few things i have to mount the three of them one two three and as mentioned they do really run very very hot they get up to sometimes 50 degrees and it will get hot. So my plan is to mount it not just on wood, but mount it on a few things to see how the temperature turns out. I'm going to do my experiments and see if my idea works. Then I'll mount it like that. I'll show you in a second. Hello. So I'm just doing a bit of an experiment. And what I have is some materials right now lying around that I haven't used. So I've got this, it's called aluminium composite. So it's got 3 mil, 0 0.3 millimeter aluminium sheets on each side. And it's got like a rubber um, sandwich in the middle. Okay, so it looks like I'll be using this one with the solid wood. I'll be using this one with the solid wood. Okay, I'll mount my... Right, so after the experiment, um, I've come into the van and I've put in the composite aluminium behind this first. And then I've put an 18mm ply. So, solid. It's not going anywhere. Solid. And if you look... Sorry. If you look... See the 18 mil ply screw to the wall and then this screws into the 18 mil ply right there. So yeah, okay. I'm looking at this just to see how it fits. I have about 9 mil clearance in there. So I think I'll just leave it like this. What I will do, I'll mount it here. Be here, I'm mounted here 
So I still have airflow on top and on the bottom. And that way it's good for it's prevented. So mount three on here. Okay. Looking good. Hey guys, so I've now set up the um Orion's sofa and I'll share what I've done so far. Okay, so what I've done, I labeled it Orion one, Orion two, Orion three. And I've turned up all the switches, the fuses. All I have to do now is turn this fuse that goes to the battery and then put back the the green um, switches that came with the Orions, which are these. And then it should be live. What I'll do, I'll show you on the app how it works. I'm gonna turn that on and then connect this green switches and then turn the engine on of the car of the van and see how it goes okay i'm just gonna check the um alternator temperature it's been about 10 minutes or so so i'm gonna see how it's getting on and i'll check again half an hour but yeah it's been noisy so i'm gonna turn off the sound we'll just show you the temperature okay <music> about 55 degrees at the moment i checked again so yeah it's running for 15 minutes at 55 degrees to be honest it's about it's quite cold it's not it feels cold outside because it's about 10 degrees outside and inside is 17 degrees so it feels cold this is my damn pro this is not really sponsored, it's training your temperature. So yeah, um, it's about 10 degrees outside, so it feels a bit cold. So I understand if you're running this in summer, it might get a bit hotter. But this is what I'm running in March, when I'm, we're still in March, in 2021. So I'm just running this now, see how it runs out. And, uh, 15 minutes and see how it gets but the the chargers are getting really hot so i'll see how hot they get and what the output is okay okay so it is hard to tell what's happening because the battery it's absorption mode is almost full i tried to run the battery down to see how fast it charges but i guess i'll try this again when the battery has gone really down like low so I'll turn off the solar panels and just run a few things in the van, get the battery really drained and get it down to around 20 volts and then try this test again because at the moment it's just an absorption mode and it's not really giving me the true charging potential. Okay, but yeah, I'll post the, for you to be a second <laughs> for me to be maybe a week or two but i will update you on the progress okay hello it's a new day now it's been about a week since i tried out the alternator charge to the dc to dc chargers so it's meant to be warm today but it's a bit cool it's a bit cold compared to what it's meant to be so i haven't had the heater on today yet so it's 11.7 degrees outside and 12.4 degrees inside so my plan now is to turn on the alternator and then see how hot it gets i'll measure the temperature later on see how hot it gets but in the meantime i'm going to measure the temperature of the dc to dc chargers this time to see if it gets really hot and yeah so I think I'll start the alternator and measure it and then after that test out the DC, DC, DC chargers to see how hot they got. That way we can see the temperature difference and if we can run the vehicle in idle. Okay, I'm gonna do that now and then keep you updated. 
Okay, so I have attached the I've attached it to the alternator right there, taped it down with a electrical tape, and then I'm just gonna turn it on now to temperature. So currently is 13.7 and going down so yeah I'm gonna turn the engine on okay so I've had the engine idling for about 40 minutes just gonna check the temperature now okay so the alternator temperature is 85.5 so it got 85.5 hot so yeah i'm gonna stop it now because the orions have gotten hot so i'm gonna see what it feels like when it goes to when it's cooled down a bit i'm going to go check the orion now to see how hot they get okay let's see how hot the orion gets so the case just touching the case is at around 42 celsius we're still climbing Let's call it 45. So they're quite hot. They're about 45 or so. So I'm just gonna let them cool down and then try the test again. Right, because this trip, this kept tripping. The 100 amp fuse kept tripping. So I changed it to a, a switch. So yeah, I'm gonna test it out again and see how it goes.